Hello and welcome back everyone. This is Ria from Plain. I am thrilled today to bring you our inaugural monthly roundup. With these roundups, we intend to spotlight some significant features, improvements and celebrate our community's contributions. So without any delays, let's talk about all the big things that were shipped in May. The first thing that we have on our table is our groundbreaking feature, Plain Analytics. Imagine transforming your entire workspace data into a structured data set that provides actionable insights, enhancing your understanding of your work. Plain Analytics does just that by acting as a personal analyst. Now let's see Plain Analytics in action. Plain Analytics comes with power pack features. It's available with just one click. You can use it across various levels on your workspace, estimate the scope and demand. You can use the stack charts for better insights. You can drill them down to the cycles and the modules and lastly, export them into the CSVs. Now let's see Plain Analytics in action. I'm using the Plain Analytics on the workspace level. If you'd wish to see it for a project, you can simply choose a project right from here or navigate inside a project and hit onto this analytics option in the top nav bar to see the analytics for this particular project. Similarly, you can navigate inside a cycles for the project, click on this view cycle and click on this analytics option to see the analytics for this particular cycle. You can go ahead with the same approach for the modules. Simply click on the modules for a project, get into a module like this and click on the analytics to see the analytics for this particular module. All right, let's take a look at how the plain analytics work. The first thing that you'll notice are the two tabs, scope and demand and custom analytics. Inside scope and demand, you'll get a clear overview of the total demand, meaning the total number of tasks listed under the backlog, started and unstarted states. And you'll get a beautiful bar chart to understand state levels with respect to the completed and the canceled states. You can also see the leaderboard to celebrate your team members. Now let's talk about the custom analytics. Custom analytics is the world of bar charts. Here you can get answers to any of your questions by adjusting the measure, dimension and group. Say for example, I want to understand how many issues are assigned to every team member with respect to the priority. For this, I will set the measure to the issue count, the dimension as assignee and the group as priority. There you go. All the answers are right just here. So that's all about the plain analytics. Do give it a try and let us know your feedback. Second up, we have the Gantt view. This is available for the issues and for planning the cycles and the modules. So let's see it in action. In order to access the Gantt view for your issues, simply hit on to the issues for a particular project and click on this Gantt icon. Once you click on it, there you go. All your issues are now rendered in the Gantt chart. The Gantt view is also used for planning the cycles and the modules. Simply hit on to the cycles for a project and select this Gantt icon in order to plan the cycles for a project. You can use the Gantt view for modules as well. The approach would be same. Simply hit on to the modules for a project, select the Gantt icon, and this is how you plan the modules with Gantt chart. So that's all about the Gantt chart and how you can play around it with issues and planning the cycles and modules for a project in plane. Next up, is the dark and the light mode along with custom theming. With custom theming, you can customize your workspace colors based on your preference. So let's see it in action. In order to use the custom theming on plane, simply hit onto the profile settings and navigate through the preferences. In this dropdown for the themes, select the option custom. As you can see that I have already a bunch of colors available with me in order to select the custom theming. You can always add the hex codes to the fields or you can simply choose any color from this palette right here and set the theme. So as you can see that all the colors have now been rendered and now my whole workspace has been customized based on the colors of my preference. So that's all about custom theming and how you can use it in plain. Next up, we have the Jira importer and the Slack integration on plain cloud. These features will also be available for the self-hosted users. So let's see them in action. 
In order to use Jira Import in Plane, you simply have to navigate through the workspace settings and through the import or export. Over here, you need to click on this import now option for the Jira importer. By providing these many credentials, you'll get to see that whatever you are migrating from Jira to Plane in terms of issues, epics, and the users. And this is how you can use the Jira importer in Plane. For the Slack integration, you need to get onto the workspace settings with these integrations here. Over here, you need to install your Slack account in this Slack option using this add installation. Once you install your Slack account, you simply need to hit on to the project settings, get into the integrations and using this add new integration option, you'll be able to get the channel from the Slack account onto the plane settings to get the updates about all the issues in that particular Slack channel. So that's all about how you can use the Slack integration and the Jira importer in plane. Now let's talk about some improvements. We have got the new cycles UI, facelift to pages, better Kanban scroll, a better rich text editor, better estimates point UX, and facelift to our calendar view. Plane has a long way to go. So let's talk about some of the upcoming features in Plane. Starting with the first one is inbox. So you can accept or reject issues, requests from the members and the viewers. The next is the Plane Runway. So it's all about taking one step closer for making integrations available for our self-hosters. And the third one is the issue time tracking. So you can track time for all your issues. So that's all about the upcoming features in Plane. Last but not least, I would like to take a moment to thank our community members, Rookie, Quadrubo, Dennis Rahman, and Sahib Giri. Your feedback and GitHub issues and code contributions are something worth celebrating. So that's all for our May Roundup today. Hope you'll all love these features. I'll see you in the next one.